you know, you talked a little bit about there, but yeah. what's it mean to, to hear the stuff you did and, and they, they let you sit behind that desk here in a little bit? Yeah, well, that's amazing. I mean, you know, the, the MacArthur Bowl, and I didn't know the history of it until the first time we won the national championship. And just watching that video again, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and, then, you know, the, the MacArthur Bowl represents the history in uh, college football and the best of the best. So to be associated with that is, uh, is just really cool and uh, you know an honor so uh, thankful for, to be a part of it today and then to have a chance to I guess go and sit at General MacArthur's desk that's uh, that, 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 that's that's not something I ever envisioned happen so that'll be uh, a neat experience. Coach you mentioned you know moving forward but again you guys are pausing to you know commemorate, commemorate what you guys did last year as you go into 2019, I guess, how do you, how much of last year do you kind of take, you know, into this year, given that you guys are the defending national champions and target on your back once again? Well, not really, to be honest with you. I mean, we, we go back and we study everything and self-evaluate, but, but it's a different team. You know, the things that we were really good at last year from a quality control standpoint, well, those a lot of those people aren't back. So it's, it's you really, you can't count on anything. Um, you know, you've got to put the work in and you, you, you've got to assess this team. And, and uh, every team is, like I said, is its own, has its own journey, its own story, its own challenges. And uh, so I'm excited about this team. It's, it's a lot of fun. There was a ton of uh, enthusiasm on our practice field this spring. Uh, you would never know that we were coming off a national championship. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of people sad to see all that unbelievable amount of seniors gone. But there's a lot of people in my locker room happy to see them going uh, because now it's opportunity for them to get a chance to, to, to play. And so there's a lot of competition on the practice field. And I think those, those, are, those led to some really good practices and some really good growth over the 15 days. And I think our spring game was very competitive. And, and guys, we, we finish in exit meetings now. And guys have a good understanding of what they got to do to come back August better. Uh, but you know, it's just everybody's everybody's back at the bottom of the mountain. You don't get to start on second base, as I like to say. You gotta you gotta go prove it all over again, and that's the fun part. Yeah, well, I noticed on those rings you gave the players, you put best ever. It's a pretty audacious thing to say. Do you think you guys have a claim that that team was the best team ever of all time? How many teams have been fifteen? Well, no, I mean, I'm, I, yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, it's a good argument. Know, I, I, I mean, they they won thirteen games by twenty plus. They went fifteen and zero. They beat Notre Dame and Alabama, uh, two undefeated teams. First under two undefe undefeated win in the playoff. You know, so uh, that was something that the guys kind of, you know, they, they wanted to. They had 55 wins, uh, uh, so they did things that had never been done, and uh, at Clemson and, and even in college football. So. Uh, do they have a claim? Absolutely. I mean, can somebody debate it? Sure. That's what makes the world go around. Everybody's got their own opinions. But uh, I like to tell everybody, in my opinion, they're the best ever so far. Uh, so, you know, it's uh, it's a good uh, good standard set by those guys. And, and, and like I said, it's not just that they won. It's how they won. You know, the highest team GPA in Clemson history, high, most 3.0s in Clemson history. Uh, I mean, the Camel Trophy, the Bowden Award. Uh, just an unbelievable group of, of men. All the graduates that we had, uh, we had the most graduates of any team in the bowls. So just really, uh, really cool, really cool uh, season and team to be a part of. But they were focused and driven uh, to to do what they did. So you know, most people talked all year about Alabama, the best team that they had had. And, it was a lot of conversation, and Clemson really wasn't in that conversation. Um, but when it was all said and done, I, I don't think you know our team left any doubt who, who was the best team. And so whether they're the best ever, people will debate that forever. That's Jordan LeBron, right? Uh, I got my opinion, uh, but it's uh, they certainly uh, did their part in creating conversation. Coach, you talked about a lot of the guys leaving, and you guys are headed to the draft. Just talk about maybe how you guys, you know, kind of project and how they can make an impact in a locker room coming from a championship winning program. Well, they, they, these are great men, first of all. I mean, they know what it takes. They know how to work. Uh, they're graduates and, uh, you know, just high achievers. You know, this, this group's won 55 games in four years. They've they played at the highest level in college football. They, 
and they've played well. So I think they're well prepared. Uh, hopefully we'll have at least three first rounders tomorrow. Uh, I can't imagine that we wouldn't. Uh, and then uh, I think Trayvon will be right there kind of next to be one of the early guys. But uh, I think we'll probably have maybe 10 guys drafted. I'll be kind of surprised if we don't. But uh, I think we'll have maybe 14 to 16 that will get into camp either through the draft or free agency. So I'm excited about this group. That's pretty amazing for us to have to be able to say you're going to have 14, 16 guys get a chance to go achieve a dream uh, that are graduates. And, uh, you know, a lot of our free agents have made it. I mean, you look at a guy like Adam Humphreys, I mean, he makes $9 million a year. He's an undrafted free agent. Uh, Jerron Brown. Uh, we got a lot of those guys that Tyler Shatley's on year six with the Jaguars. So uh, there's a reason why our guys are sticking. And I think it's, it's the culture that they're coming from. It's the preparedness that they've gotten. And, uh, you know, so uh, I hope our guys all get an opportunity. Uh, and again, and just because you get drafted don't mean you're going to make it. You know, you, you've got to start over and put the work in. And I think, I think our guys are well prepared to go compete at that level. Debra, there's a report came out last night about Tavian, uh, Tavian, and you know him thinking about maybe transferring. On what can you tell us about that? Is 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 that something there or what? I don't have any confirmation on that. Uh, I think it's something maybe he's thinking about, but I, I don't. Uh, there's no, no nothing definitive. On it. Uh, I certainly hope he doesn't. But that's that's uh, it's up to him. You tend to uh, throughout the summer show up at different sporting events and baseball games, derby. Yeah, what's on your agenda this summer? Yeah, I'm excited because it's, it's kind of something that has evolved with my oldest two sons. Yeah. Uh, and it's I'm, I'm just really glad that they still think I'm cool enough to want to hang out with. Uh, so as long as they want to do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow up. Um, so, yeah, we, we've got that coming up. We're, we're kind of waiting to see what happens with some of these NBA games and who's in. And so we usually like to go and visit some NFL teams and, uh, and, and catch a couple major league games and a couple of NBA games. And we usually do it. We got a little little window in May that we like to go do that and just spend time together, you know, do some fun stuff, tour around. And so I'm excited about that time. And um, so definitely, I don't really know where I'm going to be yet because uh, they kind of plan that, but I know that I know I'm going to be somewhere, and I always look forward to it. Do you have a sports bucket list? Thing to, yeah, a list of things that you want to go see? Absolutely, and I, I achieved uh, one of them this year. I got to go to All-Star Weekend uh, up in Charlotte. That was amazing. It was awesome. I want to go to a Final Four. I haven't done that. Uh, I want to go back to the Derby. I got to do the Derby one time three, three years ago, I think. And uh, so I've got, a, I've got a lot of things that, that, uh, that I want to be able to do. Uh, when it comes to sports, and I haven't been able to do that. You mentioned the Final Four, Tony Bennett, after 